Okay, here is, this is a tricky one. This is the hardest thing about um, learning on the internet is tuning because I can't reach out and tune your instrument. Uh, I can come over and give me a call if you need your sarangi tuned. These things go out of tune. Um, I put new tuners on uh, some of these sarangis, which are very smooth, but um, they still go out of tune. So um, the way to tune a sarangi is um, pa, pa, sa, sa, pa, pa, sa, sa, pa. And if they go out of tune, you have to um, change the, the pitch. And so you find the string and where it connects to the knob, and then... And the thing is, you, you twist, and then you have to press in a little bit. And some are really difficult, because you think you have them set, and then you let go, and they kind of slide. So pushing them in while you tune is the trick. Now, you can use electronic tuners, or you can tune against a piano, or you can use your ear, and there's lots of ways. So we'll work on all of those. But the most important thing is, it's okay to, to try tuning. If you tune too much, if you get too tight, you'll snap a string, and that's about, it costs about a dollar to replace a string, and so that's okay. Um, and especially this high, this high string, if you get too high on that, it'll definitely snap. So, um, and if that happens, then you're playing on a three-string sarangi, so good luck with that, and uh, keep working on it. Uh, remember, you can play an out-of-tune sarangi as long as you only play on one string. So, if I play just... That's okay. Um, it's when you start playing notes together. Uh, that's when it really matters that all the strings are in tune together. So start experimenting with tuning. Um, and you might get into a big mess. They just give me a call and I'll come over and we'll very carefully, you can hand your sarangi to me. I'll clean it off, I'll tune it, clean it off again, and then hand it to you so that we can all stay healthy. Okay, so um, good luck with this.